Hi again everyone, thanks for joining me for uh, another trawl through some of my uh, bootleg vinyl records that I've got on the shelves. Um, we're just going to have a look at the Bob Dylan section now. Um, it's not huge by any means, but um, it's a sort of a decent selection I think. Um, so, let's get on with it. Uh, so the first one I had to show you is the Great White Wonder, which is this the copy I got quite recently. Um, uh, just got to have a, a version of this in your collection, I think. Um, it's nice, nice original TMQ from about 73, 74, I think. Coloured vinyl. I think it's uh, orange and blue, if I'm right. Beautiful condition and uh, just a nice version of a classic boot um, <clears throat> so that's that one and then next we've got uh, Hold Port for what it's worth uh, and this is a Hoffman Avenue uh, pressing from the 70s um, deluxe sleeve uh, I've got two versions of this, um, my information sheet out so you can see the cover, um, beautiful printed cover, um, Rolling Thunder Review Tour, <coughs> and uh, this is an audience recording, uh, and this version is the Rainbow Splatter multicoloured version uh, so not much more to say about it really other than just a classic deluxe sleeve boot and that's the other version I've got which uh, looks the same but it's actually the black and white splatter but there are some other colours in amongst it brown and uh, <coughs> grey and whatever but uh, that's why I've got two versions of that in my collection. Uh, next one is the Slane Castle 84 um, broadcast recording. Uh, it's over five LPs, I think. Four LPs, sorry. Uh, green vinyl, and it's uh, it's a really brilliant recording. So it's a really enjoyable listen. <coughs> a nice heavy box set. They made 300 of them, so they're not that common. I think uh, as time goes by, they'll uh, potentially get a bit more collectible. <coughs> so the next one is called Take a Train. So this is a 1980s uh, box set on the Archive series label. Uh, 4LP, yeah. Marbled multicolor vinyl, um, 200 numbered copies uh, were made. That's the sticker there, minus number 69. Uh, the archive series tend to have this generic back uh, design with the squashed tomato, uh, and then they give you the track listings uh, and information uh, over it. So beautiful, heavy, uh, heavy pressings, and um, yeah, just a really nice 80s boot. <coughs> Next one's uh, Blackbush 78. Oh, it's what the title is by the time we got to Blackbush. So this is the uh, festival in um, was the UK. Uh, the Gary Clapton features on it, if I'm not wrong. Yep. Yep. So again, nice original 80s boot. It's got this kind of wrap around sleeve, which is stuck to the box. And it's, uh, set, that's right, it says special guest Eric Clapton on guitar and the silver sticker there. Four record set. And it's marbled multicolored vinyl. So really, really nice, nice set to have. You don't see that often. <coughs> uh, so 
next is my copy of the um, K&S Rolling Thunder Review single album. <coughs> this is um, multicolour vinyl splatter. So beautiful, beautiful LP wrap around sleeve. Uh, Maple Leaf Gardens, Toronto, seventy-five. Um, I don't know whether this was an Idle Mind <coughs> K and S uh, kind of combined operations, but it's the um, it says K and S Records and IMP eleven oh nine, which suggests it's an Idle Mind. <coughs> Catalog number. Anyway, lovely original 70s boot, multicolored vinyl. Next up, this this is a, an original 80s boot, solid rock. Uh, 1986. The uh, recording is Denver 1980. Um, again, no idea whether that's audience or. <coughs> soundboard broadcast but single album and it's on uh, marbled coloured vinyl so quite pretty vinyl which is why it particularly appealed to me next up is um, the Dylan and Tom Petty tour True Confessions uh, 1986 her Royal Sound again, it is a nice double album, Kate Fold Sleeve, um, beautiful multicoloured splatter vinyls, uh, and so it's a must have for a coloured vinyl collector really, and Dylan fan. Only 500 made of those of course. So we've then got the Joker Man Plays Berlin. So I've got two versions of this box. This is an original 1980s <coughs> box set. Um, it's a triple album, three LP. Uh, this one's got two marbled multicoloured vinyl and one clear vinyl discs. Um, there are inserts telling you uh, more about it, uh, which you won't bother getting out. But um, that's the blue one, just printed on the on the lid, and they they are really nice vinyls, I have to say. <coughs> Next one, only a hobo. Uh, so single LP. Uh, this is early stuff, '63. got 250 at the bottom which may be that there's only 250 made I don't know uh, but it is multicoloured vinyl multicoloured splatter in fact, in fact. Um, so a nice regional 1980s <coughs> single LP deluxe sleeve um, yeah so a bit of blurb on the back just uh, any of the merits of buying that particular release. So there we've got um, <coughs> the other side of the mirror, so it's the Newport Folk Festival, uh, double album on Wonder Minnow. Uh, I really like the, the label, Wonder Minnow, these are quite heavy deluxe professionally printed sleeves, skatefold sleeves, uh, multicoloured vinyl, uh, oh, sorry, I've got this as um, yes, multicolored marbled vinyl. This is um, they are limited and numbered, and so mine should have a number somewhere. Yeah, so mine's number 325, possibly a 500, but uh, that's a nice version of the Newport Festival uh, recordings. Uh, to have, and there's a lot of information on the inner sleeve. Um, they do go into some detail, Wonder I Minnow, mean, on um, <coughs> on their sleeves. 
this was that recent one that I videoed the other day. Beautiful red vinyl original swinging pig from the uh, 1980s, 1983. Just early demos. Right, this is one of my choice Dylan uh, boots. The, uh, so basically it's Melbourne, Australia. Uh, original trademark of quality. <coughs> insert. Uh, for some reason this has got another insert in the back. Same, just different colour. And um, basically it's... Um, Rainbow splatter, multicolor rainbow splatter disc. So, uh, mega rare version. So, yeah, one of my uh, one of my nicest LPs in the whole of my collection, I think. Um, precious item, really, for me. That. Okay, so uh, the little white wonder, quite an infamous bootleg this one, um, incredible sleeve, uh, which basically has all these cartoons continuing to the back, where it's absolutely wonderful, uh, incredible detail and time spent on doing those fantastic cartoons <coughs> and um, it's great material as well uh, it says the songs on this album were recorded in 1967 supposedly in the Bink Pink basement between Blonde on Blonde and John, John Wesley Harding um, and uh, yeah it's just it's like William Stout on acid really. It's only a black vinyl record but it's a, it's a classic of its type so it's it's nice to have a copy of that original 1980s bootleg. Right this is another Wonder Min Minnow title. Uh, this is Nashville Sessions 1969 and more. So double album again. Um, interesting outtakes, uh, studio outtakes <coughs> previously unreleased. Um, this one's numbered 174 of 500, so that seems to be the numbers that they were pressing of these. But again, beautiful uh, multicolored vinyl and uh, really nice to have. <coughs> Okay, so Love Songs for America. This is an early Swinging Pig release from 1990. Uh, double album, beautiful gatefold sleeve. And uh, it's, it's basically the um, Boston Gardens January 14th, 1974 afternoon show, matinee show. Um, but uh, great material, great sleeve, and beautiful uh, multicolored vinyl splatter. Uh, both the discs are gorgeous, multicolored discs. So I uh, <coughs> wanted to keep hold of that. Okay, so we've now got three volumes of Stars of. 66 this is volume 3 so they have this similar well they have the same cover design but different colors um, they basically have they cover the um, famous 66 recordings so Manchester Free Trade Hall Albert Hall uh, and I think the Australia the Melbourne uh, so they're really delightfully presented. They are gatefold sleeves. Uh, volume 3, this one, is actually black vinyl. They didn't do it in coloured vinyl, to my knowledge. Um, but the other two are really, really pretty coloured vinyl. Uh, so volume 2 is in 
<coughs> blue sleeve and uh, yeah, marbled coloured vinyl and uh, that's volume one um, which is mega pretty super marbled multicoloured so those were uh, those were eighties bootlegs and uh, you've got to keep them together you mustn't split those up okay so that then brings us to the other copy of the Jokerman plays Berlin which has got this red box black with red print with almost a white box with blue print and this is multicolored vinyl splatter so this is the splatter vinyl whereas the other one was I think marbled with one clear disc so this is probably nicer uh, than the other one in in its vinyl but uh, they're both they're both pretty nice it's the reason to get both and they've both got the inserts that should be there okay <coughs> so we then come to now ain't the time for your tears so this is another beautiful original swinging pig double from uh, 1990 um, gold on the back uh, it's free trade hall Manchester 65 um, double album gatefold sleeve so uh, yeah classic classic show classic recording it's nice to have the swinging pig original version of that <coughs> uh, okay we now got he's your lover now uh, Bob Dylan and the band 1980s original bootleg uh, US tour rehearsals uh, Los Angeles 65 as well as two tracks from uh, Edinburgh Scotland in May 66 if the cover is to be believed so nice original 80s bootleg uh, it's in my collection because it's a very pretty splatter vinyl I think it's green and black if I remember rightly it's a very interesting uh, vivid deep colour splatter vinyl <coughs> Uh, next up is Highland Man. So this is archive uh, series again. So we've got their generic design on the back of the sleeve. Very interesting crayon drawing at the front. It's a double album, marbled multicoloured vinyl marbled coloured vinyl should we say I think they're blue one's sky blue and one's darker blue but both marbled so pretty vinyls uh, 200 copies made mine's number 164 as per the stamp there so um, I've had that ages actually so uh, sorry we know where that's from that's from the um, Isle of Wight uh, 69 uh, plus one track from the Albert Hall 66. <coughs> okay, yet another archive series release. Uh, this is Dreams. So again, they go for their kind of uh, iconic um, picture of Dylan on the front cover. Um, one with sunglasses. <laughs> one dreaming and then the uh, sleeve at the back uh, apparently there's only 33 of these made in multicolored vinyl mine is number 33 so uh, yeah mine's multicolored splatter vinyl so that's quite a a rare one in that form uh, and the recordings are it's a mixture of stuff from 87 and 86 basically um, looks like they're probably all uh, 
studio soundboards or TV things. Interesting. Um, <coughs> next up, Yesterday and Today. So this again, archive series. I'll just put all these together one day. So purple on the back, same design. Um, doesn't have a sticker on this to say how many they made or what my number is. Uh, came out in 86 and it's Columbia Studios, Nashville 69 and Power Station New York 84. So studio outtakes, marbled multicolored vinyl. Okay, and that's basically it. So we then get into the stones. So I think this time we'll choose this uh, box to play a sample of, to see what the sound quality is like, um, but we'll see. So stick around and we'll give it a spin. Okay, so we're going to give a quick listen to uh, a snippet from this box set. Uh, the Jokerman plays Berlin. This is the uh, splatter vinyl copy. Uh, just to show you what you get inside you get the insert with some photographs and then another insert with the track listings uh, it says excellent stereo recording representing the high quality of today's audience recordings let's give it a go so Show you the vinyl, it's the first disc. So it's really quite spectacular, no label. So we'll play side A, what it's worth. <coughs> That's the name of another boot. Never really judge from the first track because the tape is getting its level set. That's super clean audience recording, isn't it? It'll be in a big hall list, so you've got to bear that in mind. He's really close to speaking. Really, really good. <laughs> Lovely. So, loving that. So, it's what you'd hope from an 80s audience recording, I suppose. <clears throat> not muffled, not distant. Everything completely 
in your face, not distorted. And there's there's low end and clarity. So these days you'd put that through a process and it'd be really, really special. But in the eighties you get the master disc, master tape, maybe master it just for the vinyl pressing and just put it out as is. So that's fantastic. Really good title. Now they've got two of them. <laughs> the Joker and place but it okay so thanks for watching and we'll see you for the stones next time